Hello and welcome to ExpressionWeb.us. This is our first video. It's actually for absolute beginners. And what we're going to show you today is how to create a website as fast as possible with knowing very little about Expression Web. So if you're an advanced or intermediate user, this video is probably not for you. This is just for someone who just bought Expression Web and doesn't know anything about it, but wants to get their feet wet and get going with the website as soon as possible. This is actually, we're going to be using version um, 3, which is the newest version of it, Expression Web 3. I would like to encourage you to come to our website and check it out, um, expressionweb.us. Um, if you want to give thanks for the video or um, help us out in any way, you can do that either by subscribing to the channel or by visiting our website. Either way would be fine. I just wanted to show you something real quick on our website first, and that's actually uh, has to do with following this link right here. If you follow this link, it shows you the different versions of Expression Web that are available at Amazon.com. And I actually wanted to put in a plug for this book right here. Um, it's called Head First HTML. If you follow this to uh, Amazon, this book, Head First HTML with CSS and XHTML, is actually a really good book. And, um, you know, if you're going to try to learn something like Expression Web, it's really helpful to have some background knowledge of HTML uh, and CSS and XHTML. It will really help you with Expression Web. Um, a lot of the concepts apply directly to Expression Web. But without knowing some of this stuff, especially with um, formatting, it can be quite a challenge. So just throw that out there that we highly recommend this book. Um, coming back to the our Expression Web page before we begin, I want to show you one other resource here is on our videos tab. If you go onto this, um, you know, here's our little plug for Expression Web. We got some haters actually that, you know, Dreamweavers that don't like Expression Web. So, but basically, Expression Web, as far as I can tell, is just as good as any program for creating websites and. You could actually go to a website called lynda.com and pay $25 a month to take uh, to go through these Expression Web videos. But actually, these are all for free, and we tried to organize them. And so these are all absolutely free videos that you can study. And as you can see, you know, um, there's quite a few of them. Um, positioning is actually a pretty good one. I would recommend that one. But these are all free; don't cost you a penny. And Seriously, if you made your way through every one of these videos, it'd take you quite a while, and they're all free. You would know quite a bit about Expression Web, but um, this is just for your future information. So, anyway, uh, visit our website, expressionweb.us. Really appreciate it. So now, anyway, um, or subscribe. Now I want to get into uh, Expression Web. We'll uh, show you how that's done here now. Expression Web uh, point three. Take a second while it uh, loads up. Here it is. It goes through a couple screens. They've actually changed the look and feel of it quite a bit um, from what it used to be, at least. It takes a little bit for it to load up. I guess it's quite a bit. Okay, so sometimes when you open up Expression Web for the very first time, it'll come to a, a site you've been working on or whatever, and uh, we want to get rid of that because we're just going to close this out. So you just go to Site, Close, and goodbye it's gone so now here we are expression web and we're going to start by building a website as fast as possible and uh, we we really believe i really believe in the learn by doing method i mean you can read books and this and that but you're really not going to learn until you just jump right in and just start playing around with it and getting your feet wet so the fastest way to do that one neat thing about expression web is if you come to site let's say you want to create your You've got a general idea of a website you want to create. You come to site, you go to new site, and it opens up a dialog box. Uh, at least it should. It's, um, 
running a little bit slow today. I don't know why. My system might be overwhelmed. But you come to this section here, and you see one page site, empty site, end page site. We're going to go to template. Now, this is a really slick thing about Expression Web. Uh, my position on this is uh, there's no point in rebuilding Rome. Expression Web comes installed with these um, website templates. And as you can see, there's an organization. There's six of those. There's seven of these ones for a personal website. You can kind of see them over here, what they look like. Kind of click through those. And then you got one for a small business. These look a little more official, I guess. So what do you count that up? There's six organization, seven personal, that's 13, and six more, that's 19 template websites basically already pretty much laid out for you all you really have to do is go in and adjust the content so let's just pick one to start with we'll pick organization now you see down here it'll say specify the name and location of the new site here's where you go to name it so let's say uh, we can call this uh, just give it any any old name just call it uh, my test site that should be good enough and what Expression Web will do is it'll create a master folder where all your other folders will go into to run the website. So we're going to choose this template design, and you'll see what happens as soon as we open it. So we go, OK. It's creating the master folder. And here it is. Here is the website. Now, it's pretty impressive, actually. I'll, I'll go over this real quickly. These are all of your. I basically you call them subfolders within your website. So this is an about page section, a calendar page section, a contact, FAQ, informational links, news, photo gallery, and then this is your image folder. It it's all over in both places here. So this is your images folder. So it contains all your images that you're using on your website. And here's your styles folder, which um what thing that's neat about this is it actually gives you a choice of within this template it gives you three possible variations on that theme it starts with the fault on style one but you know we can switch it and show you how easy it is to switch your style a little bit so you can play around and see which style actually matches or your taste better um, so we're in the website view now so these really aren't these are just folders for resources. So that contains your style sheets. These contains your images. And all the rest of these are folders within your website for each corresponding with each page. So what we'll do now is uh, one thing to note is that basically every web page, website, has one master page that's called your default. Sometimes it's called index, but in this case it's called default HTML. And this is your master home page and so if we click on this it shows you what it looks like so this is your home page now you see as I move my cursor around in this section and in this section it's just the regular cursor which I'm free to add content in here so here I can just type in my home page and then I could go in here and write anything I want to write I could write just delete what's on there this is just stuff that's in there. So I say, hello, this is my home page. So I can just type new content in right here, and this will be on my home page. So this will be on the page when someone first comes to the website. Then from there, um, you can go to any of these other pages. Now you notice when I move my cursor up, the the cursor changes to the circle with the line through it, which means this is actually they're uneditable in this section. So, But if I come over here to the master page, it's not. So really what this is, master, DWT stands for Dynamic Web Template. So what this does is this creates a master